can speak with you very quickly about the Digital Scriptorium 2.0 planning grant. My name is Emma Thompson and I'm the project manager for this grant. I work at the Schoenberg Institute for Manuscript Studies, which is a part of the Kislak Center for Special Collections at the University of Pennsylvania. We received a national leadership grant for libraries from the Institute of Museum and Library Services, the IMLS, for a one-year planning period to envision the future of Digital Scriptorium, or DS for short. DS is a consortium of institutions across the United States who are dedicated to making their pre-modern manuscript data freely accessible online. Since 1997, DS's database of pre-modern manuscripts has provided an open platform to search and browse data and images housed in member institutions across the nation. Digital Scriptorium was a forerunner of manuscript studies in the digital age, but it needs revitalization now to incorporate 21st century technologies such as linked open data and IIIF compliant images. The year-long planning grant afforded by the IMLS allows us to completely reassess and enhance DS's scope, data model, and technical infrastructure. And our goal eventually is for DS to become the National Union Catalog of Pre-Modern Manuscripts in the United States. Now, the COVID-19 pandemic did, of course, affect our plans this year, um, but we were fortunate, at least so far in the way it's affected it. So we initially planned as a part of our grant to host a two day long intensive planning meeting in Philadelphia where we would gather experts in the field and DS stakeholders together to work out the scope of our project and to gauge everyone's hopes and plans for a national union catalog. Now, because of COVID, instead of an in-person meeting, we hosted a series of Zoom sessions and you can see a screenshot here of one of those sessions. And this turned out to be such a fun and engaging way to interact with everyone uh, who cares about DS. And hosting these meetings virtually allowed many, many more people to participate than if we had hosted an in-person meeting in Philadelphia as we originally planned. We had over 60 people register for these meetings, so it was really exciting and really fun. Now, that went really well, but we still have a lot of major challenges ahead uh, to address over the coming year. The biggest hurdle to cross is the fact that what we're trying to do is gather data from every institution in the United States that owns manuscripts and somehow unite all that different data under a single platform. And the reason I chose this PowerPoint theme with all of these different shapes floating around is because it illustrates this challenge. Everyone catalogs their manuscripts differently in different formats and according to different standards. So this is the major challenge that we have to sort out in the coming months. Another major challenge is the sustainability of DS itself. As I mentioned earlier, Digital Scriptorium is a consortium of institutions and it's supported by member dues. It does not have a permanent institutional home and its current fee structure does not adequately support its infrastructure, even as it exists now. So that's another uh, problem we have to sort out over the coming year. If you're interested in Digital Scriptorium and in a National Union Catalog of Manuscripts, please follow along with us over the coming year as we work through these challenges and create a plan for DS 2.0. You can keep up with our progress by following the updates on the Digital Scriptorium website. If your institution is interested in joining the DS Consortium, you will find information about how to do that and who to contact on the website. Um, we would love to include as many interested people and institutions as possible in the planning process. You can also follow us on Twitter at the hashtag you see there. And we hope you will uh, participate in this great um, planning grant with us. Thank you.